Welcome to day three of the advent calendar. We're not doing the calendar today, obviously. Um, Gracie, get in the back. Get in the back. Get in the back. Get in the back. Oh my goodness. Howie, um, we were at, we went to visit Nan, as you saw. Gracie, go sit down, please. No, don't you give me any lip. Gracie, Gracie, go sit down. Look at her. Go sit down. Now, in the back. Don't look at my hair. <laughs> Howie says, don't look at my hair. Hey, Corey. Hey, Michelle. So, um, Gracie Magoo. Yeah, I just have to use the mummy voice, and she does as she's told. You can come up when mommy's done her tea, tea break. See, look at, look at the look I'm getting. You should have seen her. We had, uh, anyway, Howie, Howie got a headache really bad last night. But at first, we went to see Nan. Hi, Trudy. Nikki Stuck. Edie Murray. How you doing, Edie? Um, apparently, we're heading into freezing rain. But, you know, I, I totally accept that, you know, God's going to look after us and Howie's a great driver. So... Um, we went to visit mom and nan yesterday and um, they have a big old fat Siamese cat and Karen said look at Sam and how he was sitting on the love seat and she lifted the cat over the back of the love seat put it on his shoulder forgetting how he has an allergy to cats so he had a massive headache last night and then and he was starting to sniffle. And then at about 8 o'clock this morning, he's like, <coughs> you know what I mean? So fur balls. We, fur balls. We didn't we didn't want to take the chance, though. So we didn't meet the kids for breakfast today because we didn't want anybody getting sick just in case, right? Hey, Susan Fain. Hi, Linda Bopp. Wilma Baker. Hi, Jennifer. Well, she's, no, she's being good. See? Um... We just came out of Home Depot. I gotta show ya. You remember us when we decorated the tree out or the the outside, and we had lights in the apricot tree. Well, the lights in the apricot tree don't work. So we were how we had to go into Home Depot because he bought. See that big blue thing in the back window? That's that's how he's wood burning electric furnace for the barn shop. Merry Christmas to Howie from me. Um, so we had to go to Home Depot and get a thermostat, uh, thermostat and some wiring and stuff. So while I was there, they had, you know, sets of 50 lights on the reel, right? Oh, for 25 bucks. Well, then I looked at these and they're 25 lights for $8.99. So it was $27 for 75 lights instead of 25 for 50. Get out of the bag, Gracie. So there's that. And this is out what else I got. Because I try and get a new one every year. Uh oh, don't, don't, don't. Some, my new Christmas cactus because I don't have one that does red flowers. Whoops. I don't have one. Gracie, go sit down. Ah, ah. Mummy said. Don't you back talk to me. <laughs> you hear her growling and moaning? So this is my latest Christmas cactus. I gotta put the phone back down so I can carefully put it back in the bag. Gracie. This is, okay, we'll just put this right here and I'll set this in on top. There. Are you better now? So we went out for breakfast and because we weren't planning on staying, I didn't bring my medication. You're not getting a drink of water now. You can wait. We, uh, look at the look. Look, look, look what she's doing. What? What do you want? What do you want? She keeps pawing this. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to wait until we get 
until we stop again. When Gracie... You see that? Did you catch it? She knows when she's on camera and she just will not perform. When we stop for gas or whatever, Daddy will get Daddy will give you some water. Okay? I rip a Tim Hortons Hortons cup all the way down and I put it in the cup. You, young lady, can wait. Besides, that's my water. That's Daddy's water. Now get in the back. Gracie Magoo. I said, get in the back. Move it into the back. Gracie. Mommy. Ooh. You mousy girl. Yeah, I love it, Linda. Look at this. I tell you, you think, and you think, and you're not helping by rubbing her ears. Because I told her to get in the back. Anyway, so we went out for breakfast this morning. As um, soon as we got into the motel last night. Now be careful, Howie. It's supposed to be freezing rain. When we get into the, when we got into the motel last night, I took the ice bucket and gave her a bottle of water, and then Gracie, get in the back now. Move. Don't you? Oh, I wish you could hear her. Mm -hmm. You stay there. Oh, you mouth beast. No. What? Yeah, camera's on. You won't make a sound now, will ya? Yeah. She wants the water. Well, you're just going to have to stop and give her water. Or I'm gonna. Be, I need a, a, a cup or. Hang on a second, guys. Move. Here, just wait here. Just a minute, young lady. Just a minute. God help me. Sorry, guys. So, now I can finish my story. We went into the uh, Queensway restaurant, and we always sit by the window so she can see us in the restaurant. And we ordered fairly decent sized breakfast, you know, pancakes, sausages, bacon, eggs, toast. And then Gracie got half of each of our, well not half, but a third of each of our breakfasts in that doggy thing. And now she's getting a drink of water, which is what she wanted. Tell me my dog doesn't talk to me. Hmm? I heard her growl so good. She doesn't growl. She more or less moan. It's not a growl. Dev, you were just like me when being the passenger in a car, telling the driver what to do. Oh my goodness. Was you thirsty? So... Every time we took a bite of something, I'd hold up a piece of bacon at the window and she, she'd go. She'd be sitting in the truck looking like, where's my breakfast? So we brought her out the doggy box with a, with a pancake in it and a piece of bacon and two sausages and some potatoes and toast. She doesn't like eggs. My goodness, you were thirsty. She's a very, very smart dog. Yeah, she's still going. Well, she's been sitting in the truck while we were in Home Depot. So, when we get home, regardless of the weather, I'm going to be ripping the lights off the apricot tree and plugging these three in and just throwing them. Maybe I'll get Howie to film me, but he'll be busy doing other things like unloading the truck. Finish it up. Oh my goodness. Thirsty girl. Well, the sausage and the bacon really was quite salty, I eh, dear? So, this was a much more expensive weekend than the we expected. What have we spent? 50. We still have to go grocery. 
but finish that water, Gracie. Finish that water in the back on the floor. Hang on, okay. So I'm just gonna put it up on the dash here because there's still a bit of water in it and we don't want it flying all over the place. Hey, Black Rock. Hi, Kathy. Hey. No more water. You're fine for now. Now she just wants the bottle. Now she just, oh. Drink the water and then give me the bottle. She wants the bottle. She knows water bottles because I've poked holes in them and here. This is what she really wants. You want the bottle? There, she's got a toy. She'll leave us alone. Don't do that if it's icy, you may fall down and hurt yourself. What are we talking about? Oh no. I'm an, I have a gravel driveway. Uh, if we're, you know, and there's no guarantee that snow isn't going to be a big issue in the next couple of days. So I'd rather just get this done. Howie's got to move the coach. He's got to get his furnace in the... Did you get a tarp? He's one of your Walmart bags to come with the electrical. Yeah, but they're not plastic. It's still going to sheet the rain. Ah, okay. See, she's playing with her, with her, with her water bottle. Her crunchy. Her crunchy, yeah. Oh, the dinosaurs. Oh, the dinosaurs. This is the reptile, the reptile zoo. I don't know if you can see that. You can't. Jesus, no wonder you go through breaks like crazy. I sent my seeds of hope. Mine got mailed out yesterday in Port Hope. <laughs> And put them in mom's often and and I took her a box of, uh, we took her a tin of cookies and a box of tea my seeds of hope went out yesterday and I sent out close to 20 of them so there's going to be people out there who weren't on my list are going to get some She thinks that she can sit on the center console. Look at this. She's sitting on the center console. Gracie, say hi to everybody, Gracie. You, you are an impolite bitch. Yes, you are. And I can say that because she is a female dog. Anyway, um, so we're on our way home. And... Uh, um yeah I'll, I'll probably do a live stream on life with the, on our half acre homestead tonight or this afternoon we still have to stop and get a few groceries we don't need a lot we need i don't know if we got you room made a list. yes i did i made a list i made a list on a napkin in the restaurant because i put it in my pocket because i always forget to take my list so i need Bread, milk, dog food, bananas, lunch meat, and cream. That's our grocery list pretty much in the winter time, eh, dear? Yeah. We don't we don't buy much anything else because the pantry is well stocked. You get out of mummy's hey, hey. The freezer will be. Yeah, not till the end of January. It, it goes in at the end of the month. They have to hang two weeks. And then it gets butchered and frozen. That's that's almost a month. She's got her, got her foot on my leg. What a dog. I did get to see Bubba and the kids. I saw them last, we saw them last night. Okay, get off of me. Look at, get in the back, right now. Don't look at daddy, get in the back. Um, normally she has the whole back seat to stretch out on. We did see Bubba yesterday. We saw, we went from Nan's to where Arthur and Mel were staying at my brother-in-law's. We had a visit with my brother-in-law and we took them some, well, Marty, some cookies and tea. And we had a visit with Bubba and Arthur and Mel and Marty. And then we went to the motel. Well, we went to a drive through and got a burger and fries. I went to a cannabis dispensary um, and got some edibles for the night because I didn't bring any medication with me except my Tylenol and muscle relaxers. I didn't bring my mood meds, my sleep pills, anything. I was up most of the night. 
but I'll sleep good tonight. And uh, we're on our way home. So you guys can look forward to a live maybe tonight. I don't know if I'm going to have a live tonight. We'll see. Maybe around 9 after Papa's in bed and that way. Because I, I, don't, I don't like giving up my Howie time very much, you know. Waldo, hey gang, our dog had all its teeth taken out a few weeks ago, but he's getting worse. I guess he's suffering from cancer. It sucks. Not much time left. Well, then you just make sure your puppy has lots of little Caesar foods that he doesn't have to chew. Baby that baby. Baby that puppy. Not that bad brat back there. She says, but I'm squished. We'll turn around the other way. I'm really sorry to hear that, Waldo. You know, it's a, it, it is really crappy when our pets get sick. It is really crappy. And when they, you know, when they're getting near the end of their life. You think about this, okay? If a dog's give or take lifespan is seven years to every one of ours, right? Then every hour is, to them is seven hours, six or seven hours, or even five at the very, you know, at the very minimum. And what, Howie sleeps down downstairs now. So Gracie stands at the top of the stairs and greets him every morning because she sleeps with me. And when he gets home from work, you guys have heard her when she sees him pull in the driveway. And then she freaks out and she wiggles and bends in half when daddy gets home. And he go and he and I, I say to him, you don't realize to her, you've been gone for 12 hours. To her, you've been gone for three days right so right it's a lot for a dog so one year seven year well it depends on the breed too gracie's um breed goes seven to ten and she's going to be eight in the spring so but uh we brought her out her breakfast in her little doggy take out her doggy she bag what but she knocked all the taters off the well she's not fond of taties unless they got something on them right cricket cricket my shepherd does that as well if i remember right the first year is 10 years and then it goes to 70 year well yes their first year actually is closer to 12 depending on the breed because the first year um that's when they get their first heat that's how i look at it she has her first heat around six seven months which she never had because we got her fixed so she's technically and it but she identifies as a as a baby girl um, you think about that the first year she, you know how old are girls when they when they you know hit puberty like 12 right so I think the first year for a dog her size is closer to 12 and then every year after that is five to seven years depending on the breed well, then my dogs are ancient. Well, your dogs are smaller. Smaller the dog, the longer they live. And that's why when Gracie goes to the Rainbow Bridge, if I am able to train two more puppies, we'll probably get, like, uh, a Frenchie and a Boston Terrier or a couple of Boston Terriers, something like that. Small dogs, right? Because I'm the one who puts them out every I want 20 minutes. A female Boston <clears throat> runt. He wants a female Boston runt. The runt of the litter. Your baby's two years old. We should do a pet pick exchange. I put her pets on Facebook all the time. Not that Facebook is my favorite thing. So, um, I'm thinking of finding a way of maybe sharing posts. That's the only thing I don't like about Patreon. Patrons should be able to share posts on the Patreon page. They should be able to. And they don't. It's not It's not fair. So, I have two Pomeranians who are the sweetest. Oh, I got bit by a Pomeranian once. Yeah. No, no. And they got long hair. We're not hairy dog people. Even though Gracie sheds yeah, the little ones. Yeah. Well, Penny did too. Her little, you know, Penny and Pixie. So, that's kind of... 
You have a pit boxer mix. Oh, lucky person. Lucky girl, I'm assuming. Um, but Gracie's our one and only. She's our one and only. She slept with Daddy last night. She was so happy to sleep with Daddy last night. Only She only gets to sleep with him now in the summertime when he's out the coach. Every Pekingese dog I have met has been a biter, too. Well, you know what Pekingese are, eh? They're just long-haired pugs. And I... My, our neighbors, when I was a kid, had Pekingese, and they were the nastiest, yappiest Mom. things. She was a girl. Hey, hi, Bev and Howie. How are you both? Hi, Rosie. I'm trying to do that, but I'm not full. We could email our pet pics to you, Bev, and you create a with their name and their owner. And I will do. I will do a whole bunch of pictures on Patreon. Are you? Depends if you're Patreon. If if you want it on Patreon, if you're Patreon, tell me your favorite from Patreon, and I'll only put your pets on Patreon. But if it's Facebook, I'll do it, and I'll do it on Gab too. I yeah, that would be awesome because you know that's one thing we've noticed is we're all like pet people. Pretty much most of us are pet people. She snoozing. She's snoozing. Anyway. Um, I might do a live tonight, but I'm pretty friggin' tired. And I'm off my meds. I know 24 hours shouldn't do anything, but I don't want to risk it. So I'm going to bed early tonight. Your email again, please. Linda, can you put my email in here? ConnectedHeartsFamily at gmail.com. ConnectedHeartsFamily, all one word, at gmail.com. Okay? And uh, tomorrow we'll be back in the, the holiday-themed office. The clouds and the star wall is always going to stay. Always going to stay unless I decide to do something different later on. Right? Mount Doom. Mount Doom. Remember the mirror in our... In our uh, we wanted to do a, an etched mirror in our house in Elmer. Remember that? That big mirror on the back wall. We were going to get it done. Did we take care of Jennifer yet? Yes. I sent about five or six people Jennifer's email address. But if you want to email me and get her address for the, the Seeds of Hope car, uh, card exchange, um, then because she accidentally got left out for no fault of my own or hers. So email me at Connected Hearts Family and put in the subject line for Jennifer. Okay? Hi, hi, hi. Hi. Anyway, um, I want to drink. Well, I better have my sip of tea or it wouldn't be a tea break, would it? So, we're on our way home. Oh, that's a good cup of tea. We're on our way home. And um, if I don't see you tonight, I will see you tomorrow. But I think we're going to be pretty tired tonight. We're going to be, by the time we get home... And do what we got to do. It's going to be like 7 or 8 o'clock before we crash on, on the couch and watch our stories. So, I don't know what time it is. Oh, it's not telling me. Where's your phone? Never mind. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Hang on. I'll plug you in after me. It's quarter to noon. So, we'll be home around 5 o'clock after we stop and all that stuff. We got to get groceries, so closer to six. And then, okay, well, remember the weather's crappy, so you're not going to hammer it all the way home. She's trying to make a nest in daddy's coat, look. Daddy's hunting coat, look. She's making a nest. Making a nest in her mess. Lay down, Gracie. Lay down. No, I wasn't. I wasn't encouraging you to come look at. Oh, big sigh! Did you hear that? Like, oh, I'm not allowed the. Even though I have Bell Mobility and Five, and I should be getting this, but I'm gonna let you go now because we're going into 
uh, deep no cell country. And uh, so I will see you all tomorrow. And uh, we'll get back on our regularly scheduled visit of tea breaks and stuff. Because that's all I'm doing this season is tea breaks. But we're going to be making cookies later this week. All right? I love you guys. Oh, Howie has consented to decorating the family Christmas tree on live with me. But we're not getting it until next weekend. Okay? I love you guys. Take care. God bless. And uh, you know what? Prayers for a safe trip home are always welcome. Always. Mwah. Take care. God bless. Say goodbye, Howie. Goodbye, Howie. Look at pouting back there. Bye, Gracie. Bye, Gracie. Mwah. I love you guys. Take care. God bless. There. Huh?